And so there sat old Trumpy, feeling absolutely flim flammer, tweeting about ratings and TV shows rather than something that mattered. He finished his tweet and turned on the TV, noticing something with which he did not agree. Overcome with rage, lies, he cried, lies, as the news showed photographic evidence of things people had seen with their own eyes. He sent down a representative, of which he had stacks, to bamboozle the press with alternative facts. His uninformed actions were only a fraction of his haphazard faction, a lot of whom were there because of backroom transactions, and so with satisfaction he took off his hair and proceeded to abolish affordable health care, distinctly aware he would financially impair a lot of the citizens in his care. Feeling better, he went to bed with a grunt, wondering why people thought he was such an incompetent leader. And when he awoke alone, he put on his bathrobe and witnessed protests from around the globe. Feeling sad, he called his friend Putin on the phone, expressing how much he'd done with only a million dollar loan. And so his Russian friend consoled him and told him it was all going to plan. And he said he was personally inspired by Trump's seven country ban. Donald, he said, you're doing really well, but don't release your tax returns or else they'll be able to tell. You've got money in the Dakota pipeline, so that's a conflict of interest there. You talked about how great you are during national prayer. No foreign leaders respect you, you'll end up paying for the wall. You're an ignorant nationalist who doesn't believe in climate change, you fool. But keep doing what I tell you, restrict your country's freedoms, or I'll release that tape of your urine-soaked threesome. Hi, I'm Donald Trump, and you're watching Disney Channel.